Hi, my name is Fred Andersky, and I'm the Director of Customer Solutions for the Controls Group at Bendix Commercial Vehicle Systems. I'm here today to talk to you about the alerts and interventions of the Bendix Wingman Fusion System. What makes Bendix Wingman Fusion unique from radar-only systems is that we utilize a camera mounted in the center of your windshield to work with the radar mounted in the center of your front bumper along with our Bendix ESP full stability system to give you adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking, as well as rollover and loss of control stability. To get the alerts, we utilize a driver interface unit on this Kenworth. You may also receive alerts through the dash, but remember the Bendix Wingman Fusion driver interface unit will give you all the alerts of the Bendix Wingman Fusion system. So one of the things that you'll note in this video is you'll hear two alerts. One alert is coming from the driver interface unit, the other is coming through the PACAR dash. In production, you'll only receive one alert, but because this is one of our test trucks, we're going to get both alerts and that way you'll hear the sound difference between the two alerts. Just remember, any alert that you hear should get your attention to take a look as to what's going on. Now let's start with the following distance alerts. Following distance alerts are available whether you're in cruise control or not, and they indicate a closing gap between you and a forward vehicle. We have our forward vehicle in front of us, and now we're going to come up on him, and we'll start you hearing the alerts. Above 37 miles an hour, you get three alerts, a close, closer, and closest alert. There's our first alert, our close alert. Our second alert, or our closer alert. And our third alert, or closest alert. And that last alert with the red bars across the top was our impact alert. That alert is critical because it's telling you that a collision is imminent and it's looking for driver intervention before it applies the brakes. And then it does apply the brakes to help mitigate the potential forward collision. One of the other features of Bendix Wingman Fusion is adaptive cruise control or what we call active cruise with braking. Turn on your cruise control, set your speed, and the system will help you maintain a set following distance behind the forward vehicle. So we've set our speed to 65 miles per hour. Now the system is tracking a vehicle. He's going about 57. Remember our cruise control speed was set at 65. The system is now backing us off by cutting the throttle. If it needs a little more speed reduction, it will engage the engine retarder. And if it needs even more, it will apply the brakes. And when the forward vehicle accelerates, we will accelerate back up to match our cruise control speed or their speed. One of the other features of the Bendix Wingman Fusion System is lane departure warning. The camera reads the lines on the road and if you veer six inches to the left or right, the system will give you an alert. Rumble strip sound either to the left or to the right. Now, if you use your turn signal, indicating that you want to make the lane change, the alerts are suppressed. With the lane departure warning feature, sometimes when you're going through a work zone, the lines might not be clear. Well, you can turn off the lane departure warning by pressing this button and it'll deactivate the system for 15 minutes. If you want to turn lane departure warning back on, just flip the switch one more time or after 15 minutes, it will automatically re-engage. Bendix Wingman Fusion also features overspeed alert and action, also known as speed sign recognition. The system will read the speed limit sign, and if you're going five miles an hour over the posted speed limit, we'll give you an alert. 
If you're going 10 miles an hour or more over the speed limit, Bendix Wingman Fusion will give you an alert and a one second dethrottle. A stationary vehicle in your lane of travel is a situation we hope you never have to encounter. With the previous generation of Fusion, we applied about two thirds of the braking power. But now, Fusion applies 100% of the brakes on the tractor, as well as braking on the trailer. This allows us to scrub off up to 50 miles per hour in that stationary vehicle scenario. With the previous generation of Bendix Wingman Fusion, if stationary vehicle braking intervened and you steered to avoid that stationary vehicle, the system would release control back to you. But what if there is another vehicle in the lane you're moving to that stopped? With multi-lane autonomous emergency braking, Bendix Wingman Fusion continues braking to help you mitigate a potential rear-end collision. A new feature of the Bendix Wingman Fusion system helps mitigate drowsy driver or incapacitated driver situations. Highway departure braking utilizes the camera to look for the lines in the road, and if you drift off the road, it alerts you and, if necessary, actively cuts throttle and applies the brakes to help slow the speed of the vehicle. While the system won't stop and park your truck, it can reduce speed up to 20 miles per hour to help mitigate a road departure event. So let's talk about blind spot detection. Bendix's blind spotter system utilizes a radar mounted down on the right hand quarter panel and a display that is located on the A pillar. So when you turn to look at your mirror to see if anything's in your blind spot, you'll also see the display. When there's no vehicle in the blind spot, we have a yellow light on the blind spotter display. When the blind spotter turns red, that means there is an object or a vehicle in your blind spot. And if you use your turn signal to make the lane change, you'll get an audible alert. Remember, blind spotter is designed to work with you and your mirrors. So always check your mirrors first. And if you don't see something in your mirror, yet the blind spot detector is red, there's a good chance that there is a vehicle or another object in your blind spot. Now keep in mind that these are driver assistance technologies, not driver replacement technologies. Safe drivers, safe driving practices, and comprehensive driver training are still critical to safety out on the road.